Well, Crocs fans, the Taipans came to town last night and received a sound 75-43 to 43 thrashing from the local boys here. We had a chat to the fans before the game. There was 100 of them came down from Cairns to uh, watch their beloved team get absolutely flogged. We had a chat to the fans, and we also had a bit of a listen to the press conference afterwards. Here's the Townsville News Online wrap-up for the Cairns Taipans versus Crocs game for February 2012. So uh, how's it feel to be the enemy territory tonight? Oh, it feels awesome. There's a lot of Cairns people here, so uh, I imagine... Really excited to win. We're going to win, so there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, needless to say, uh, you're a big uh, Taipan supporter and uh, Taipan's all the way tonight for you? I am. I actually, live, I actually live in Townsville, but I don't, um, I'm a Cairns boy originally, so I have to stick with my roots, so yeah. So you're just hoping to get out of here alive tonight? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, another Taipan supporter here? Definitely. And uh, one of the local homegrown boys. Oh no, green is just such a boring colour. Orange is much more vibrant. I'm, I'm ashamed. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're yeah, looking big, forward to the win. Big Titan supporters tonight. Uh, how's it feel to be going home with a loss? Uh, we're not used to that, so. <laughs> there's there's got to be a first time, I suppose. <laughs> so, how do you think the team's been playing now throughout the competition? They've been a bit up and down, but tonight they'll be up. So poor Townsville tonight. people, poor Townsville people. So what's planned for the celebration? Should the unlikely happen and the Taipans get out? I'll wear, we'll wear our orange down Flinders Street with pride. And if they don't? We'll still be wearing orange down Flinders Street with pride. We're getting a bit of stick tonight from the uh, Taipan supporters. What's the word on the crop front? No, oh, mate, I think most of the time they've got a pretty bad record here, I think. Um, they'll be yeah, very lucky to get away with a win, I think, today. So it's a uh, green all night tonight? Definitely green, mate, yeah, definitely. What do you reckon the margin's going to be? Uh, I think it'll be tight, but um, yeah, I think the, the confidence they'll get away. They'll probably hold them by 10, I think, most of the way. Excellent. See you at the finish line. Cheers, mate. It's a be a good one. Right. Easier flight home when we get in. Yeah, and what's going to happen if uh, the beloved Taipans don't get up tonight? Oh, well, there's no chance of us not getting up tonight. We're going to win tonight. OK, what do you reckon the margin's going to be? Uh, at least eight points. So a very enthusiastic... Stop it! <laughs> Very enthusiastic Taipan supporter. Always enthusiastic. Got to follow him wherever we go. Excellent. All right. See you at the finish line tonight. Absolutely. Look for me. Thank you. In all honesty, in all honesty, they're here in our city. They're going to play our game, <laughs> play our rules. Yeah. Jamar Wilson. He's going to get locked down by Eddie Gill. For sure. Uh, Even though he's a top top second second scorer on the league <laughs> in the NBL right now. We'll What's see. Prediction for the finish line tonight. Cross by five. Cross by five. PC hitting a three just to put us up in the fourth. Probably the least we can do is tell me who's going to win tonight. Crocodile! Crocodile! And by how much? Heaps. Heaps? Heaps. What have you got to say to the hundred snake supporters that have come down from Cairns? Go home. We eat you! Oh, my God! That's beautiful lady in the swamp tonight. It's also the most keen Croc supporter. Needless to an artist. Who's going to be in it tonight? Who's going to get home? Let me think. Uh, oh, the Crocs. Crocs? Well, how much do you reckon? Oh, 10 plus. And how long have you actually come to Crocs games? It's the very beginning. And all the memories of you travel travelling? I increase them every year, make a new shirt every year. So. Excellent. All right, what's your hope? What are we going to do if the snake is happy to get up tonight? Sorry? What's, what are we going to do if the snake is doing the unthinkable and get up tonight? Can't think about that. Can't think negative. We're going to win, no problems. Go Crocs. Go Crocs. <laughs> How are we going? So I suppose we call this the unofficial uh, green army up here. The Crocoholics we like to refer to ourselves as. The Crocoholics. <laughs> now, these snakes are getting pretty cocky tonight. What's the words of wisdom for them? Oh, look, I think they're going down. They're going down. By how much? Well, our, our, our guru up the back up here tells us three yeah. points. Three points? Three points. Both games. It's, it's going to be a big one. Yeah. It's going to be tight. It's going to be a loud crowd over here from the... From the northern folks. There's only a hundred of them here. They make a lot of noise. They do, but are going to do any good? <laughs> Not, Not tonight. Not, Not tonight. tonight. <laughs> guys will we'll see the finish. We'll be there. Yeah. Go Crocs. Go Crocs. <laughs> uh, you wanted a response, Paul? That might have been it. Yeah. Uh, obviously, early in the week, uh, I said some some uh, tough things about uh, the guys and the team, and um, you know, uh, honest things. Been and uh, you know. You can't ask for a better response than that. Um, 
you know, we had a couple. Uh, the first practice uh, was, was somber and quiet, and uh, you know, we just watched film of, of our of our poor performance in Adelaide. And um, but uh, to respond the way they did and to come out and play the way we played tonight, uh, uh, that inspired defense uh, to be that connected as a team, uh, to communicate as well as we did, to rebound as well as we did, uh, to contest every shot. Um, I told him after the game, I, I think, again, we showed ourselves uh, how capable of a basketball team we can be. And, uh, and then I put on the board, no more excuses. You know, we need, uh, we need that effort every night. If we have that effort e every night, uh, we can be a damn good basketball team. And uh, again, I think we're showing ourselves glimpses of how we can be. Uh, we just need to continue it. Was that the first 40 minute performance of the season? Yep. We've talked about that. You were in my office the other day, and I don't, I, I, Mentioned, I don't think that we had had a, a 40 minute uh, game where we had played well for 40 minutes, and tonight we did. Um, and my hat's off to, uh, to the guys in, in our locker room. What was the most pleasing aspect of that performance? Well, uh, overall, we talked about a number of things before the game. Uh, most importantly, was defense. We wanted to take them out of their comfort zone. I think we did that for the most part. Uh, I know that uh, to give up 43 points is, is uh, extremely unusual and, and very proud of that. Um, they, they didn't seem they were comfortable at any point tonight. Um, uh, we contested every shot. We talked about that. We talked about being active and, and energetic, um, and we were, we were that as well, or those things as well. Uh, so again, uh, you know, I think we, we followed our game plan extraordinarily well. We, we talked about sharing the ball and making the extra pass, making your teammate better. I think we did that at the offensive end. Um, so overall, I'm, I'm very pleased with uh, pretty much everything we did. Well, I think, you know, that's, that's the thing about basketball. Um, you know, momentum is a, is a strange thing. It's something that we as coaches around the world don't know how to harness or how to, you know, how to, how to get it going. Uh, we got the momentum early. Uh, PC and I were just talking in the locker room. Uh, Warren hit some early shots that were PC defended extremely well. And, uh, and I, in our first time out, I mentioned if we continue to defend like that, they're not going to keep making those shots. We, we continue to do that. Uh, you know, we'll be successful, and, and, and we were. So uh, I think we had a lot to do with it, uh, with their, you know, the fact that they looked uncomfortable. We took them out of their sets, but uh, sometimes teams just don't have it. It might have been a combination of the two. What did you make of the, the rebounding performance tonight? I mean, you spoke in the lead-up about the importance of that and yeah. how you, you want to boys to pick it up. Too. Yeah, we talked about that. We, I don't think that uh, rebounding is definitely not one of our strengths, but again, uh, rebounding is determination and, and fight and going after the ball, and, and we did that. Uh, obviously, Jacob was incredible. Uh, 15 rebounds in 25 minutes, uh, very impressive, and, and uh, I think the guys kind of you know followed his lead, and, and um, we didn't allow them too many offensive rebounds, and, and they're a big team and a physical team, and, and to match their physicality, I think is is uh, is what we need to do uh, throughout this league. Uh, t other teams are very physical, and, and we need to match that physicality again if we want to be successful. Does that mean mean you guys are back? Pardon? Are you, does that mean mean you guys are back? Well, I hope so. You know, I hope so. I think, I think, you know, we, I talked in one of the timeouts about let's make a statement, but the statement has to be to ourselves. Uh, we need to let each other know that, again, you know, uh, if I make a substitution, if I put Mick in for PC or, or any type of substitution, uh, we can't have a drop off in the level of, of intensity or focus. And, and tonight we had that. Tonight we had uh, uh, the, the starters started the game off extraordinarily well. Uh, and then I think the bench came in and picked up the level of play. And, you know, again, that's a lot of credit to them. So uh, we had that throughout the night. Uh, whoever played, uh, played well and, and played as a, as, a, as a teammate of a team. And that, to me, is the most important thing. I always talk about playing the right way. And I think tonight we did that. Do you think you can continue that one day? Yeah, we need to. Uh, again, I think that we raised the bar. And, and we, we need to know that. And we need to know that we're capable of playing that way every night. We might not make our shots. We might not do some things well, but the effort level can always be there, and it needs to be there. That's the great thing about that win. Because you blew it out, you were able to really spread the minutes, which means you probably won't have as tight a leg. No question. I, I, I thought about that, and I, I, I wanted to look at the minutes there. At the start of the fourth quarter, I knew that we played Sunday, um, and I knew that uh, I wanted to rest our starters as much as I could. Uh, and I think for the most part we were able to do that. No one played over 30 minutes, and... and uh, I think that's that's good for us to, uh, going into Sunday. We'll be as well rested as possible. PC, uh, going to be pretty happy with the way you guys bounced back from last week. 
Yeah, it was, um, you know, we got four games in a week. So, uh, you know, last week was a bit of a down game for us. It was a bit of a low point. So, uh, you know, it was in the back of our minds to come out and, you know, play well this week and uh, start off this four game, four games in a week with a bit of momentum. Coach was saying you felt like you guys were really in sync for the first time this year. Did you, did you feel that that was right? That was like that? Yeah, uh, I did feel that a bit, you know. Um, we were in sync on defense and offense, you know, but, uh, you know, that comes with intensity and, and, and the focus and, you know, all got all five guys are on the same page, you know, all ten guys are on the same page really and, uh, you know, that created momentum for us. You're the, you've been talking about that all season, you know, about you guys needing to click and does it feel good to, to finally know that that's happening now? Yeah, it feels good that we actually achieved it. Uh, you know, I think I said earlier in the year we hadn't, we, we'd won a few games but we hadn't really clicked very well. But, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, when we do, it's a 32-point victory, so it's pretty handy. What was the... After Paul obviously as he spoke about with a very publicly aired his grievances with last week's game as a playing group, how, how did you guys actually respond to, to such harsh criticism public, publicly? <coughs> I, th I think that was shown in the way we played. You know, uh, you know, any time you know your game's questioned, you want to uh, you know you want to answer it. So uh, I think the whole group did that. Came out and played played as hard as we could, and uh, you know got the win as well. Does this feel like a little bit more than just, you know, responding to the coach's criticism? Does this feel like you guys have lifted as a team? Yeah. Um, you know, when, uh, when when we're all on the same page, you know, everyone's playing for each other and, uh, you know, it makes the game a lot easier. Um, what we were talking about is, you know, when, when, you, when a team makes shots and, and you stick to the scouting report and do everything you meant to do defensively. Um, you know, that's fair enough. But, uh, you know, when you make mistakes in the sense of, you know, a guy doesn't stick to a scout report or a mistake's made on, on, on some sort of play, you know, then you start questioning each other whether, you know, guys are on the same page. And uh, we didn't have that tonight. And, you know, it shows how good we can be, uh, you know. But one game is one game. We have to, uh, have to go in Sunday and do it again. The NBL stats that we believe it's the lowest score that the Crocs have ever kept the team to 43 by quite some margin. Is it special to be part of that history? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll all uh, tick off on that. Even though um, you know the three-point line's out a foot further, and uh, it's also 40-minute game, not a 48-minute game. But uh, who cares about them stats? <laughs> <laughs> you talked about you know you can't just rest on that one game. Is that the big thing? Because consistency has been like the buzzword of the Crocs this year. That you can't just rest on this this one game. You need to back it up against Gold Coast. Yeah, well, uh, you know, consistency's been a problem from quarter to quarter. Uh, so you know, to put 40 minutes together is uh, a good foundation to build on going into uh, the next game. And uh, you know, I, I, you know, we are under the pump a little bit. We dropped out of the playoff run, uh, dropped out of the top four. Uh, you know, and. To get to a championship game, you have to treat every game like it's the championship game. And I think, uh, you know, there was a bit of playoff intensity there tonight. And, uh, you know, if we can build on that, build on that, you know, then we're going to be good. But um, it's just one game at the moment. Do you think it'll help you playing Gold Coast in Brisbane, not at home? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> doesn't matter where we play, I'm the same. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. 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 In the way we played, it's about the way we play. Um, it was just a 180 degree, total, totally different way of the way we played, you know, seven days ago. So I don't understand that, but it is what it is. We've got to flush it, and we've got to play tomorrow night. The way you play, as in too fast, too slow, too soft. We were soft. We didn't um, play with any physicality. Where we obviously played with a great deal of that last Friday. Um, and then just system-wise, being able to move the ball, get it from one side of the floor to the other, you know, second side, third side, um, throw it through the post, 
get it out, get guys moving around. We just did a poor job. We stood around and watched each other try and make plays, and we're not good enough to do that. A few shots from being taken that probably perhaps wouldn't be taken in a, in a usual offense game. Is that because players were flustered, or how do you describe? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. You know, because we. It's hard to do anything the way we play with just our... We need to move people around. And if you move people around, then you can move the ball around. And then guys can make plays. We don't have a lot of guys that can make plays off the bounce. Jamar's obviously pretty good at that. But apart from that, you know, we need ball movement and, and play very good team basketball. And we did a poor, extremely poor job of that tonight. So you probably can see that it's not playoff-level quality basketball tonight. How do you build on that with 24? Less than 24 hours. Well, we'll find out. We'll see how we respond. If we don't respond, then we won't be a playoff team. <coughs> that's that's the bottom line. You know, it's we got to win tomorrow night. That's that's just what has to happen. So we'll see how much we want it. Sometimes teams can feel that it's going to be an off night in the lead up. Did you did you expect that from the boys from the training and all that stuff this week? No. I mean, obviously, you try and keep the week pretty light. Like Towns will probably would have as well because you got to play two games. But um, we've played pretty good ball the last four games and um, shot the ball very well and scored at a pretty good clip. Um, defended well, uh, definitely in improved our physicality about the way we play because uh, it's getting to that point of the year where it obviously gets very physical and um, you got to be able to play through that. And we just didn't. Like I said, seven days on, it's just a totally different team. And uh, that's pretty disappointing, but we've got an opportunity tomorrow night to bounce back. I'm just curious to know what you're going to say to the guys. Once you leave this press conference, how do you, you respond to something? I don't, don't say anything to them. It's, when we hop on the plane, it's all about recovery and preparation, and we'll go to shoot around tomorrow morning and get ready to play the Tigers. You, this game's over. You can't do anything about it. There's no point in me showing video. And they'll never see it again. And they'll never, never see the game again. So <clears throat> it's just about getting ready for the next game, and that's what it'll be. Early in the second half, I've seen most of the starting five were rested. Can you explain why you made that decision, and do you have any regrets about that? No. I don't mean, care if we lost by 60. You know, we were going to lose the game. At the point spread didn't mean jack. We've got to play tomorrow night and go try and keep those guys as fresh as possible. And, and, uh, you know, they could sit there and watch that for all I care. You know, like if that's the way they want to bring that type of intensity to a game that's a pretty huge game, um, they can sit there and watch it like I have to and everybody else and every fan in Cairns, you know. So uh, it's over. We'll move on. In that sense, are you <coughs> somewhat disappointed with any of your charges? In the oh, I'm disappointed with every single one of them. Just not good enough. Just one through ten. It's... Uh, you know, you need leadership. You need guys to fulfil roles. Um, they need to fulfil their roles for our... You know, each guy needs to fulfil their role for us to be successful and, and whatever that is. You know, they all have different strengths and weaknesses and they need to do their strengths well for us to be successful and there wasn't too much of that.